Hello lads and ladies and welcome back to another episode of the Supercoach Diaries. Today is a bit of a sadder episode and one that I'm not looking forward to do to doing. But before we do that, before we get underway, make sure you do drop a like if you enjoy the entire series and you're going to enjoy the last few episodes of the series and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my other content. Anyway, with that out of the way, I'm going to talk you through this week and how I went. Now, unfortunately, uh, I was eliminated from my one league this week. I'm out of the both my leagues. I'm out of contention. Nothing's happening, unfortunately. But that doesn't mean that I can't look over to the overall scores, which I am this week. And unfortunately, I dropped a few positions. I got 2,212, which at this point of the year is not a good score. I really need to be hitting 2,300, 2,400 plus every week to be keeping up my ranking. So overall, I'm sitting at 34,104, which is a drop of about 2,000. I wish this could be improved, but unfortunately I just had too many passengers this week. So anyway, let's get into the team. I'll show you what my team is looks like this week. So here's what my team's looking like. As you can see, I had some really, really big scorers. So uh, MVPs for me were people like Zorko, Franklin, uh, Hanabry, uh, Rance, all had really, really big, massive games, which helped us a lot. But as you can see, I had a lot of 90s and high 80s this week, which isn't good enough. Um, those players need to be scoring 100 plus for me. So some big disappointments, some real flops this week where Battelle was really struggled this week. Jack Stephen again this week didn't score very well. Dylan Shield coming back was pretty poor. Jack Viney was really poor. Stefan Martin. Uh, they were probably the real poor ones I had. And there's not much I can do about it. I can't really trade them and my team is really, really stuck in place. Another disappointment I had was the picking of the captaincy. I had Rory Sloan down as captain thinking that Adelaide went with a big win. He might get a lot of the ball. He only scored 77, which meant that the rest, that I didn't get a big score because the captain wasn't the right pick. And I stressed at the start of the season how important it is to pick a good captain. And alas, I didn't this week. Dan Hanabry was my vice, and I really should have had him as captain because he went 131, which is a really, really great score. Anyway, new week, new super coach, two rounds left. Let's see if I can turn this around. So, as far as captains this week goes, I reckon I'm going to go back to my man Danger. He can be the captain this week. As far as a, a loophole goes, I might actually loophole Danger and I might actually start out with someone like a Hannah Breeze captain first. So, allowing us to switch players around if in case if they do a great score or they struggle. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. These are shorter episodes as we get towards the end of the season. There's no trades to talk about. There's no league to talk about. So at the end of the day, I really, really enjoy doing this series. I'll At the end of the season, I'll do a bit of a, a best of and a worst of as far as my picks for the teams and who I thought was the best performer for me overall and who struggled for me. So if you're looking forward to that, do leave a comment below. Also, let me know if you've got... Uh, if you've got any early nominations for MVPs for some of the best pickups of the year and some of the worst pickups for the year, do let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe to follow the rest of my videos, and I'll see you later.